In this lecture, we are going to understand what is a relative and absolute route path and how it works in Angular. And to understand this, let's go to VS Code and let's go to the place where we are defining our links. In our Angular application, we are defining the links in the header component.html file. So here we have these four links, this home, about, contact and courses. And for these links, we have specified a path and that path we are assigning to this router link directive. Now, when we specify a path for the router link directive, we can specify it in two ways, either by using a slash before the path or by not specifying this slash before the path. And based on whether we have used a slash or not, the path will be either an absolute path or it will be a relative path. Now, keep in mind that when we use a slash before a path, in that case, it will be an absolute path. Okay, when we use a slash before the path, the path which we are assigning to this router link directive, if we are using a slash before that path, in that case, that path is an absolute path. And in case of an absolute path, that path is directly appended to the root URL. For example, when we say slash home, this path, it will be directly appended to the root URL in the address bar. So when we use a slash before the router link path, in that case, it uses absolute path and the path is directly appended to the root URL. For example, here we are creating a link call about and for that we have specified the path as slash about. So what will happen is in the URL, this slash about will be appended directly to the root URL. In our case, the root URL is localhost colon 4200. So this path will be directly appended to that root URL. And this is called as absolute path. But if we don't use this slash before the path, in that case, it will be the relative path. And when we use relative path, in that case, that path is appended to the currently active route. Okay, so when we don't use a slash before the path, in that case, it uses relative path. And in case of a relative path, the path gets appended to the currently active route. For example, let's say in the about page, we have created a link and we are calling that link go to home. And for that link to this router link directive, we have assigned this path home. Now here, we are not using a slash before it. So in that case, it is going to use relative path. And we learned that in case of a relative path, the path gets appended to the currently active route. So currently we are in the about page. So the currently active route will be root URL slash about. And in the about page, we have this link home. So when we click on this link, in that case, this path will be appended to the currently active route. Currently active route is root URL slash about. And to that, this home has been appended. So this is what relative path means. Let's try to understand the absolute path and relative path concept with a simple example. So in our Angular application, in the home page, if I scroll down, we have this popular courses section and in this section we have this button go to courses page so what i want is when this button is clicked we want to redirect the user to the courses page for that let's go ahead and let's use router link directive on this button element let's go to vs code and let me open home component so if i go to the html of this home component here we have that section and inside this section, in order to display all the popular courses, we are using another component called popular. So this app popular is the selector for that popular component. So from here, I'll go to this HTML file of popular component. And if I scroll down, here we have that button. Okay, so it says go to courses page. On this button, I'm going to use router link directive. But before that, let me move these things in a separate line so that it will be more readable. Okay, so on this button element, I'm going to use router link. As we learned, we can use this router link on any HTML element. And to that, I'm going to assign courses. Okay, so the path which we are assigning here is courses. So what we want is, when this button is clicked, we want to redirect user to the courses page. Now here, I have not used a slash before it. So in this case, this path will be appended to the 
currently active route so when we are in the home page the currently active route will be either the root url or root url slash home so based on what is the currently active route this courses will be appended to that let's actually see that so let's go to the web page and currently we are in this route root url slash home so this is the currently active route right and if i go ahead and if i try to click on this button you will notice that this courses has been appended to that currently active route the currently active route was root url slash home and to that this courses have been appended that's because here we have not used a slash so in that case it will use relative path it will append this path to the currently active route in the same way let me go ahead and let me type root url instead of root url slash home and in case of root url also the view of home component will be rendered right if i scroll down and now if i click on this go to courses button currently the active route is this root url so now when i click on this go to courses page button this courses path this path it will be appended to this route so if i click on this button you see that courses has been appended to this path so this localhost colon 4200 it was the active link and to that this courses has been appended so this is how the relative path works if i go to home page and now if i try to click on this go to courses page button the courses path will be appended to this url as you can see so this is relative path but if i go ahead and instead of simply saying courses if i use slash courses in this case it is going to use absolute path so no matter what is the currently active route this courses will always get appended to the root url because here since we have specified a slash it is going to use absolute path so this path will always get appended to the root url let's actually see that let's go back to the web page let me go to home page okay and now let me scroll down and when i click on this go to courses page button currently active route is this route this url so since we are using absolute path now since we have used a slash before this courses path it is going to use the absolute path in that case this courses will be appended to root url the currently active route is root url slash home but the courses path will be appended directly to this root url so if i click on this button you'll see that courses have been appended directly to that root url it does not matter what was the currently active route it will simply append the path to the root url when we use absolute path okay now one more thing you need to remember is that so earlier here when we are defining the route in the header component there we are simply using the relative path here for none of these paths we have used a slash right then how come when we click on these links so let me go back so this is the currently active route root url slash courses so when i click on this home link since we are using the relative path here in that case this home should be appended to this currently active link right that's what we have learned because currently we are using the relative path but when i click on this home link instead of appending it to the root url slash courses it has directly appended to the root url now why is that so one thing which you need to remember here is that the relative path will be appended to currently active route only if that link is defined inside the currently active route for example this root url slash home is the currently active route and in this home page itself we have this go to courses page button so for that we have defined another router link and in that we are specifying the path as courses so in case of a relative path that courses will be appended to this url this currently active route only if that router link is defined inside the currently active route here for this button we have defined the router link in the home page itself so let me go to this popular component.html so we are defining this router link in the home page itself so that's why this path will be appended to root url slash home when we are trying to navigate from home page to courses page but in here 
even though we are using the relative path these links are defined outside for example if i go to home page so currently we are in the home page when i click on this about link the current active route is root url slash home but when i click on this about link this about link we have not created inside this home page right it is outside of that home page so that's why the path of this about link it will not get appended to the currently active route because this link we are defining it outside of this currently active route right so that's why it will be appended to the root url and not to the currently active route now we learned that when we use a slash before a path it is going to use the absolute path but keep in mind instead of slash if we use dot slash in that case it is going to use relative path okay in that case the path will be appended to the currently active route so here if i use slash in that case it will use absolute path but if i say dot slash in that case it will use relative path so in that case this path will be appended to the currently active route and let's quickly see that so if i go to the web page and if i go to home page and from there if i try to go to the courses page since we have used dot slash it is going to use the relative path and in case of a relative path the path will be appended to currently active route so it will be appended to this url if i click on this button you see that courses have been appended to currently active route path so let's go back and let's fix that so i'll simply use slash here also if we use two dot and a slash before the router link path in that case it will move one level up and then the path will be appended to the parent path in this case also it is going to use relative path but since we have used two dot and a slash it will move one level up in the url path and then the path will be appended so for example let's say the currently active router link path is root url slash book slash author and then inside this author page we are creating a link in that link we have this stephen king so basically based on this author name we want to get all the books and in the path for this router link we have specified two dot and a slash and then stephen king so this path this stephen king it will be appended after removing the parent path so from the currently active router link path since we have used two dot and a slash the parent path will be removed so this author will be removed and this path will be appended to root url slash books as you can see here in the same way if we use two dot and a slash like we are doing here and here in that case it will move two level up and it will remove the last two paths so from this url let's say this is the currently active route path so from this url it will remove the last two paths so author and books will be removed and to that this stephen king will be appended so it will be appended to this root url so it will look something like this so i hope from this lecture you have got a little bit understanding of how absolute path and relative path works when we define a router link path and also what is the difference between absolute path and relative path